If you're like me, you love to entertain. I have people at the house all the time, and you always want to make a fun, simple appetizer that's not, you know, arancini fried rice balls or just cheese platters. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to teach you one of my favorites. It's top round, which is a cut of the beef that's, beef that's actually the shoulder. We're going to make a little saute out of it. I'm going to put it on my grill, nice and charred with some coriander on the outside, which is basically, it's the seed of cilantro. Then we're going to make my favorite sauce ever. Now, this is a sauce, trust me, once you make it, you'll put it on beef, fish, chicken. The only thing you probably won't put it on is cereal. It's really literally that good. It has jalapeno, cilantro, parsley, uh, some nice toasted spices. It's really good. Let's get to rolling. Let's make this dish here. I have the top round, really inexpensive. Now, the reason why is there's not a lot of fat in here. It's not a lot of marbling. So what you want to do is make sure that we cut against the grain. You don't want to slice with it. You want to slice against it. What you're doing is you're locking in all the muscle tissue and all that great flavor, and that way it doesn't all seep out and turn out to like beef jerky. So what we're going to do is not your typical skewer. Do you see a lot of the recipes that say, take your wooden skewer, soak it in water for like 10 or 15 minutes so it doesn't burn on the grill. I'm going to teach you a quick trick about my sautés that kind of a little cheating, but you know, it saves you from soaking these and it looks a lot nicer. So what we're going to do is we're not even going to soak them. I'm going to cut them, grill them, and skewer them after. Really simple. So we need to season our beef here. Salt and pepper on both sides. And then because coriander, which is cilantro, is in my sauce, we're actually going to take the coriander seed and coat it on the outside of the beef too. It gives that really nice, spicy, kind of cuminy flavor, but um, it has that herb note to it that I just love. So what I'm going to do is here's the grains. I'm going to just go ahead and cut some chunks, kind of saute chunks, things that you would eat bite size, just like so. All right, so now all my beef is cut, seasoned. Grab all that great seasoning off of here. And you know, bite size, something good for appetizers. So harissa, Middle Eastern spice blend, coriander, jalapenos, garlic, caraway, and cumin. What I did here is I have caraway and cumin seed that I'm going to, I toasted already. When you toast the spices, it brings out the oils and it makes it really, really vibrant. It takes something cheap to high class and sexy just by doing something like this and just toasting it. Sauce, I'm gonna grind it up in my Cuisinart. If you have a blender, you can do a blender too, but I like the Cuisinart because it keeps the spices kind of whole and chunky and you get a bite of it with the beef and yogurt and the sauce, it's really good. So the spices are all ground up, chopped up really nice. I'm gonna add my garlic and make sure that that gets chopped up. It's a couple stages when you do this. You want to make sure that you can get everything nice and fine. So now the garlic gets minced and chopped up with the cumin and the caraway seed. You know, people, when they think caraway, they think usually like rye bread. You wouldn't think it's going to be in like a Middle Eastern sauce like this. So now our garlic's all chopped up. Now, jalapenos. This seems like a lot. It's because it is. <laughs> I want a lot of jalapenos in there. I take the seeds out because there's enough capsaicin, there's enough heat in them without the seeds that it's going to be really nice. So I'm going to chop this up real quick. All right, take all our herbs and put them right inside here. And now we're going to add some olive oil. A lot of olive oil. So we take it and let's pulse it. All right, sauce is done. Delicious. Tastes good. Mm, I love it. Now, it's time to grill some beef. The coriander that's coming out of this is so nice. It's one of those spices I want you to jump into and actually try to use in your cooking. Great with fish, scallops, meat, uh, salmon especially. It's really good. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of lime I'm going to squeeze a little bit of lime right over the top of the meat. Anytime meat is fresh or grilled or so on, you want to put a little bit of acid on top and finish it just like so. That way that acid with the spices and the salt, it's going to be really nice. So people ask me, why would you not skewer the meat and put it on the grill? Because I don't want the skewers to burn and they're a hassle. Now the meat's done and you literally just skewer just like so. What's good about this is room temp, grilled hot, it's also nice too. So we're going to take our plate here. One thing I always do, you always eat with your eyes first. So it's cool and it's kind of a um, you know, good plate design. People are attracted to it. They're like, oh wow, what is that? Well, you're like, it's just my 
coriander crusted beef sautés with little green harissa. Fancy, right? So to cool down all that spice, I'm gonna take a little bit of yogurt and I'm gonna nestle the beef just on the yogurt here. All right, now we have our yogurt, we have our beef. I'm gonna squeeze a little bit more lime over the top. This is gonna be a winner for you. Remember, you eat with your eyes first. It's okay to be a little whimsical. We're artists too as chefs and as cooks. Finish with a little olive oil. And you have now taken a very, very simple cut of beef, like a top round, and made it fancy for the next time you have guests at your house. You have coriander crusted beef saute, a little Greek yogurt, and harissa. This looks really good. Please invite me over if you make this. Mm -hmm.